Hey y'all, today we're gonna make cabbage and smoked sausage in our casserole crock. All while having a whole lot of fun. Mm-hmm. I am Mike. My very From dramatic that croc assistant. <laughs> what are we doing today, baby? We are making a simple little dish that is very, very yummy. It is a smoked sausage and cabbage dish. You can serve this as the main dish or you can serve this as a side dish, whichever you would like. We tend to eat it almost like a soup even though it's not a full-on soup. Um, and it is very, very yummy and very, very easy to throw together. Um, today we are making it in our casserole crock. You can make it in any six-quart slow cooker or you can, with as spread out as it is in the casserole crock, you can make it in that too. Um, for my low-carb people, I've got some news. So I've been perusing all of the smoked sausage, which tend to have a low enough carb count that if you limit your smoked sausage to just a few pieces, you could totally enjoy it. Uh, who's gonna limit? Nobody wants to their do access that. Access to smoked sausage. No, but this brand, which is the Sam's Choice at Walmart, has significantly less carbs in it. Here, than... let me see it. I just want to show them. It looks like this. Yes, has less carbs in it than any of the other ones I found on the. Um, on the market it does taste honestly a lot more like summer sausage when it's cooked up than it tastes like what you traditionally think of as smoked sausage i'm okay with that i love smoked or summer sausage my whole crew here loves this dish with this particular kind of um smoked sausage in it it's now meaty. yes and i will tell you this is not sponsored they don't know who i am or what i'm talking about but I'm telling you, if you're low carb, you might want to give this one a try because you can have your smoked sausage and eat it too. That's what it boils down to. Do you like how I did that? That was, that was good. Okay. Was really good. So what we need is a small head of cabbage, which ends up being, I think once this was okay. chopped up, is a little over eight cups of cabbage. Sometimes we get um, about six cups of cabbage. It depends. I'm not going to like leave part of it out just because a, a head of cabbage is a little bigger than others. Mikey's already chopped it up into bite-sized pieces for us. Um, if we're doing well, that, that looks huge. That takes up your whole screen. <laughs> it, here, in scale. There you go. <laughs> to your nose? <laughs> yeah. Um, Cut it the size of Mikey's nose. <laughs> here, wait. Uh, no. For scale. <laughs> oh, great. I'm sure that everyone loves that. Don't worry, I blew my nose earlier. Oh We're my good. goodness. Okay, so we have this one ended up being about eight cups. I would say six to eight cups worth of cabbage. And you can just dump that down into your slow cooker. Um, it's going to fill up your casserole crock if you are casserole crocking with me. Six quart, um, it's going to do real well in. I wouldn't do much smaller than that. I'm going to take that little piece of core. Oh, out. I meant to. Uh, well, I know that some people love the core, but it's not our cup of tea, so we do not. Um, so just go ahead and put your cabbage down in there. And to that, we are going to add two cups of chicken broth. Just going to pour over the top to give ourselves a little bit of liquid to work with. As the cabbage cooks down, it's going to produce even more liquid. Same thing with the summer sausage. Yes. And so, the smoked sausage. Smoked sausage. So, we actually have two packs, and these packs are 14 ounces. So, two 14 ounce packs of smoked sausage um, that we're going to sprinkle in here. And while I'm doing that, Mikey's going to slice up a stick of butter that we're going to put on top. So, I'm just going to place these guys in here. This is a real simple, simple dish. Um, you could even, if you had a six quart, I wouldn't do it in the casserole, excuse me, casserole crock. You could even add a can of green beans in here if you wanted to, to kind of make it even more of a one pot meal. We like it, we like it this way. We like, we actually make this dish in many different varieties. Um, uh, I think originally when I first tried a dish like this, we did pork chops and cabbage, which are really, really yummy. 
So we're going to just go ahead and pile all this in here. As you can see, the casserole crock is getting really, really full. Um, your six quart should be able to handle it even better. As it cooks down, you can stir it and everything will get pushed on down in there. Yeah. Just go ahead and sprinkle or put the different pats of butter. I can't. Over the top? We're in the camper and you're in my way. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not like we got that big old kitchen back home. You know what I should have done before piling all that cabbage on there is I should have done my salt and pepper onto the cabbage. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and salt and pepper it now, but probably after it starts to cook down and I can mix it a little bit, I'm going to add probably a little bit more salt and pepper. So you guys can learn from my mistakes or do it. Or you could just salt and pepper it at the end. I think it's also going to um, depend on the sausage that you get with How the seasonings that are in there. How salty it is. Because I can see, and I'll show you maybe, and you can see it in the GoPro right there, that there are, you can actually see some of the spices that are mm -hmm. in that. Yep. So depending on how spicy you want your yep. your dish. You'll always do a minimal amount of salt and pepper and then you can add at the end. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there. Again, if I had been paying attention, I would have put that directly onto my cabbage. I'll do that again once I can stir this, once it cooks down a little bit. So we are going, you can put this on high for about two to three hours or low for I would say probably four to six hours, probably going to get done around the five hour mark. Um, that's what we would do. So um, we will see you back whenever, oh, oh, I was like, what does he have? <laughs> well, that, yeah, that just barely fits yep. in there. So we, we got this nice and full. And so because this is nice and full, it will cook a little bit slower than if it weren't quite as full, but your six quarts are going to cook pretty quickly too. So the thing is, is when this is done, I'll be nice and full. <laughs> so we'll see you here back here in three, two, one. And we are back. Well, I'm back. Mike's off doing laundry. I have an extremely bad headache, but the cabbage and sausage are done and we're pushing through so we can show it to you guys because it looks amazing. So I am just going to let the steam rise for just a little bit and show you guys. Oh, of course. I always say that that's my, uh, what would they call glamour shots when it steams up my lens and makes it really um, fuzzy. Like the glamour shots back in the day. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyhow, I guess it's not going to clear off. Hang on. Yeah, well, there you go. That's what our cabbage and uh, smoked sausage looks like. It smells absolutely amazing. I am going to um, stir this up, and I know I need to add some salt because I did, and pepper. I did not get very much salt and pepper on this while it was cooking. Um, I will say it did take a little bit longer my casserole crock than it does in my Ninja. So just keep that in mind if you are using a casserole crock. I would say it probably took three and a half, almost four hours on high. So on low, it probably would take the full six hours. Um, just to keep that in mind. As you can, as you saw in the video, there's quite a bit of broth down in here. You can serve with a slotted spoon if this is a side dish. Um, like I'm going to serve it now or you can serve it with a ladle into bowls if you'd like to eat it more of soup like. Either way is good. The broth is very very flavorful and very very good. So let me add the salt I would have added earlier and some more pepper just to give it a little bit more flavor. Yep, that's Definitely smell that pepper. <laughs> Got a big whiff of it. Okay, so let me come up there to you guys. Sorry about kind of being a little low energy right now. I'm just not feeling the best. I think it's because we've had such massive weather changes. Um, I've had I'm had some headaches. So anyhow, let's come up here and see you guys. There you go. You can see the sausage and how tender that cabbage is now. Yummy, yummy. And like I said, the brand of sausage that we got tastes a little bit more like summer sausage when you eat it than 
like your traditional brands of smoked sausage, but you can use either one. If you're going low carb, you can save some carbs by eating that brand. Mmm. 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 Absolutely love it. This is just fall food for me. Comfort food. So yummy. And so incredibly easy to put together. <clears throat> if you like this video, we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up. If you're not already a member of the Croc Classy, we'd love for you to click subscribe down below. Become a member of our slow cooking family around here. Um, if you would like notified every time we upload a video, click the bell down below. That's the dingling. That's the notification bell that tells YouTube you'd like to be notified every time we upload a video. But whatever you do, we hope you laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. Bye, guys. Addie, are you hungry, hon? Yeah. Yeah? Please. Are you recording? I'm trying to. Oh, sorry. It's okay. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.